What is going on everybody? I'm your average gamer. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day. And in this video, we are finally going to talk about the support role in Overwatch. Now, when it comes to the support role, I'm sure not too many of us are really excited to play this role. I'm sure there are some people that are like, well, uh, Lucio is insane because you can play with him like this way. Yes, every hero is very important and you can master them and, and make huge plays with them. Some of them, some of them require like specific scenarios, uh, whether you're like in tight spaces, open spaces or whatever, but still you can still make huge plays with whatever character and especially with the support. Now I'm not going to sit here and try to explain every scenario that is beneficial for the support because one, I definitely would not be able to do that and two, that is way too complicated. But what I am able to do is kind of explain the difference between uh, just one support, so a good mercy and a bad mercy. This is something where I've, I touched up before in another video but I'm going to go a little bit more in depth especially since I've been playing this game more. So the first thing I noticed between a good mercy and a bad mercy is that the good mercies are always trying to blue buff the damage, trying to keep alive the support and the tanks when they can, not necessarily pocketing them, but making sure the, the damage doesn't die so the damage can continue putting on massive amounts of damage uh, while trying to keep the tank alive so they can mitigate. The supports can kind of take care of themselves, that's why they are very, very important. But immediately when the game starts, you can see if a Mercy is good, if they're trying to follow you, stay together as a team, and not pocketing just one hero, which usually ends up being the tank. Um, and something I talked about in another one of my videos is don't look at statistics in this game and think that you are frying. Even if you have 25,000 damage, you can have that much damage. If you don't have the kills for sure, show for or the eliminations, that damage doesn't matter. Same for the healing. You can have an insane amount of healing, but if you're only pocketing a tank that's out here getting, you know, shit on by the entire lobby and you're out here keeping them alive while the damage is out struggling because we only have 200 health, you know? And you get hit one time and now we can't peek or do nothing like that because we don't want to get picked. So a good mercy would come back, kind of heal us, kind of escort us if we needed to, like, you know, say we're in the open space and we needed to get to the team without, again, getting either sniped or, or shot at by the entire team. A Mercy will hold your hand, walk you through that, and probably dip on you if the tank's about to die. Again, that's not a bad play. To keep your tank alive is very, very important. But you don't need to sit there and hold their hand when a lot of the damage characters, right, are meant to just absolutely annihilate the other team. That is the main reason I play Ash is because as much as I talk about Mercy, she it can be super annoying to play against. So having an Ash on your team that can hit their shots, three shots and you're dead, give me a blue buff Mercy and I'll probably kill you in two. You know, like that's the difference between, you know, a good team and a bad team. Um, for example, if you're facing against a, a Mercy and you are a support and you have a Reaper and a Tracer on your team, the odds of you killing that Mercy are slim, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So that, that Mercy is just going to heals, heal though. non-stop. Just pay right attention here. to the Mercy in our team. She is some random Mercy. The only person I'm playing with is this Bastion here. And notice how we're both trying to keep him alive because he's going to do more damage even outside of his turret form. Yeah, he was in his turret form, so it's even more important to keep him alive. But he's going to do even more damage outside of his turret than me and Mercy combined. Granted, here I am ulting, so that did kind of come in clutch. But again, that you just if you pay attention to what she's doing she's healing the bastion she's blue buffing him while he's up top she's not down low kind of like following the tank everywhere uh the tank if you're a good tank you can manage to stay alive and again if you're a good mercy you you will go to the tank when the tank is low and you will help and heal them and fall back and make sure that everybody else is okay now the one thing that i absolutely like about moira is as a damage character i i am a damage main for anyone that doesn't know i am Plat 1, which is super surprising to me in the damage character, I usually only play Ash, so that is super super cool, but that also goes hand to hand with playing Moira, is she can do not the most damage, but she can definitely get a few picks and finish off a few kills. get over here. On top of that, yes, she does heal, and there is the difference between a good Moira and a bad Moira too. A lot of people would sit here and blame Moiras that focus a lot of damage uh, as a bad Moira, and I understand that because the more damage you're doing, you're doing less heals because you're either sh you're either healing or doing a little bit of damage. Uh, you have a healing orb and a damage orb, uh, and they're both really cool. But the one thing I want to point out is in one of my games that I was playing, I had noticed that 
Uh, I had oh, two of the damaged characters there, blaming oh, me for the shit. fact that I wasn't healing enough, <laughs> even though I had the most heals in the game, right? And get this, I also had the most damage and most eliminations in the game. So they got mad saying I was doing too much offensively. But when you look at the game, which I wish I had saved, right? But I'm trying to avoid all the toxicity and stuff like that. And I, I did one exposing video and I realized I could, I could literally make 10 of these a day, right? Uh, this dude was a gold five trying to sit here and tell me specifically how to play. And all I pointed out to them was like, hey man, like the reason I'm playing this way is because you guys aren't securing the kills or doing nothing, that, nothing like that. So I have to do it. And uh, ironically, like it, it went into um ot and we ended up losing unfortunately still had the most damage on my team the most heals on my team and i got blamed now i said not to look at it statistically right but if a moira ends up having the most everything she's kicking ass okay that that means she's she's doing the damage and she's healing you if her damage and and healing are almost the same so you play uh uh, a push map, right? And the push map, the end of a 10 minute push map, she has 10,000 damage with 10,000 heals. That's pretty good. Granted, she could have 20,000 healing with probably like three, 4,000 damage, right? But it also depends on who the other support is. Having a damage Moira isn't necessarily bad. And going back to that remark I said about this dude being a gold five, I'm not out here saying that that's a bad ranker. This guy was a terrible player. I mean, he kind of was. But the whole point that I'm trying to make is that Here's a guy that's still trying to figure it out clearly. He had 900 hours in the game, by the way. I don't know if that's a glitch. Okay, if you're gonna have 900 hours and still be mad at the world saying that it's everybody else's fault, but this guy is one of those guys, right? I'm sorry, but <laughs> you, you deserve the hate a little bit. And again, like it's just, it's not frustrating as much as it is just kind of a waste of time because this dude's out here just, you know, spewing so much hate. I wish there was a way to kind of mute the chat or the specific one person. Um, you know, but it is what it is. I wish him the best. I don't know what to say. Uh, but yeah, that's just kind of how this game works, man. Is a lot of people be t are targeted, and the people that are targeting the other players are not that great at the game. You know, but I mean, what else is new? Like that, it's just video games for you, dude. I think by far the easiest role to play is the tank, and like, don't get upset if you're like a tank main. You're supposed to carry the game, you know. So as a tank, if you're not carrying, uh, there can you have a bunch of excuses, you know. If your support is not healing you whatsoever, as a damage main, I can tell you that happens so frequently, you know. If again, if I have to spam, I need health, that becomes a problem. Or if I'm fighting other damage characters that are being pocketed and then I'm being targeted as a damage character say L damage L damage I mean you know help a brother out that's all I can say dude like uh it's I, I recommend you guys to play damage if you feel as if it's easier you know uh when I play damage I feel like there's a lot on my shoulders because you have to hit your shot you know say there's a mercy week or or whatever like you have to get these picks or you, you're not going to do well your whole team won't do well uh, as a tank, I feel like there's a little bit more leniency because you have way more health, uh, and if you have a good support, then again, good support always makes a difference. That is kind of what this whole video is about. A good support can turn the entire uh, game around, unless you have terrible, terrible DMG, and then that's understandable. But uh, yeah, stop blaming the damage, stop blaming the support, stop blaming the tanks, dude. Again, a lot of the times it's team efforts, and sometimes the other team is just better. What I realized, I'm not going to sit here and say that I don't single out people on my team yeah if you're a tank though and, and the other tank is having three four times more damage and mitigation dog you got to go i'm sorry brother but you got to go like that's the only time i see that it's okay to really complain about is if somebody like looks like it's purposely selling you know your shit but if you're targeting damage characters that have you know almost the same amount of kills and damage as the other team not really their fault you know same with the support if the support is uh, healing every single person and doing as much as they can, but the damage isn't doing their job. You know, you see what I'm saying? It's a team game. Everything goes hand in hand. I'll tell you right now, and I've said this before. I've single-handedly seen tanks carry the entire game. Mostly good divas, some really good Roadhogs, but mostly good divas. Uh, there's been good Reinhardts too, but when it comes to Reinhardt, I feel like, again, you kind of need good damage because you, you have to hide behind the shield and get some picks and, you know, maybe focus the support a little bit more. Uh, but, dude, dude when, it comes, when it comes to a good D.Va, I, I hit somebody one time with a support or the damage and you see this D.Va just take off, focusing this person, you know, getting the entire other team to, like, turn around so the 
the damage is just free to fire at these people and not be focused. Uh, and it's, that is a relief, dude, to see that sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, and have this D.Va just absolutely fry, and I'm just like, thank you, man. Like, you know, like, I didn't have to do much. It's not even like I was missing a lot of my shots. It's like, this dude's just a freak where I would hit just a, I would hit the shots I feel like he needed, if that makes any sense. You know, like, again, I would, I would mess up a support um, that was stopping the damage character from being healed, and then bang, he would just go in and just fuck up the damage character. I'm like, yes, yeah, this is nice. This is such a good feeling because now I don't have to sit there and have a damage on damage battle from range and you know, maybe choke my shots sometimes and, and then die and let my team down. It was just a breath of fresh air. The rest of this gameplay will be Ash. Like I said, I am Platinum 1, so it is going to be the sweat fest. And it's just fun. You know, I, I do enjoy it. I thought that I was going to hate it the more that I ended up breaking up. But as I get better at the game, it, it challenges me more. You know, um, also, again, that pressure of having to hit your shots because say you have another another fire DMG on the other team and they're just messing your entire team up, your job to kind of, you know, like get that gap or they're going to be the damage difference. And it's it's exciting. You know, for example, I make a, uh, make a huge play coming up here that uh, I'm not going to say wins us the game because, again, it is a team effort, but it stops the push and it's very nice. And that's, again, I talk about this exact same thing, the ability to change the entire momentum of the game with one play, a few good shots, by yourself. And that is, again, like I say, keep saying, a great feeling. Uh, why I kind of recommend to play this game and put your time into it and get good at it? You get rewarded for doing these type of things. And what I mean by rewarded is that feeling that you get when you realize that all this time you're putting into something isn't going to waste. You know, like, for example, you're about to see it into action here in a minute. I would have never been able to do this or even know who to target a week and a half ago. You know, or I don't think I could have hit all these shots like I did in crunch time. Like, these were, these were pretty clutch shots. Like, I take out the support. That's one support. That's a damage, an ash. Maybe she had her Bob, Two. I stopped that, made him Two use dead. the Zenyatta ult. You know, I still have my ult. I made him waste his um, ult. We Zenyatta take out the down. Zenyatta, here comes a Reaper. Nope, a Bastion, I lied. And that right there, Keep him out, like, Bob. solidifies the Let's round. Go. Like, the round's Dude. over 2-0, and now we just have to get it past that. And we win. That is the big plays that I'm talking about. Other than making big plays, this game can just still be fun. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say it's super addicting. I think I'm just addicted to the fact that it's new to me. All these new heroes that I've never oh, really played before. So it keeps my mind busy. You know, I think about it all the time. Different combinations that you can do. But I'm a hoe. I'm not going to lie. I have commitment issues when it comes to video games. Uh, I just love them all. <laughs> you know, like, as much as I'm appreciating and loving this game. November, November 9th, baby. God of War Ragnarok. And you're gonna like sit that? here and listen to me sound like Ric Flair for 20 minutes as I make a video about it. Trying to be as spoiler free as possible. But I'm telling you, man, my passion for just games in general, but that oh, game in particular, is going to shine through like when that game comes out. I am so... I don't even know, like, I couldn't even put an adjective in there. I couldn't. Like, dude, like, this is going to be my last ride. I feel like Scump. <laughs> you guys know who Scumpy is, he just released a video. Um, basically saying it's his last competitive Call of Duty year, and that's crazy too, man. There's so much going on, dude. Holy fuck. But God of War Ragnarok is going to be pretty much the end of my single-player journey. I think I'll always keep playing single-player games, but dude, this game, I cannot wait for it. And I hope that you guys are there for it, get to see my reactions towards so many things. I have so many ideas for those videos. Anyway, I know I, I got a little bit off topic, but that is a very common thing throughout all my videos. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button, comment down below anything that you want, and be sure to subscribe as always. I love you guys, and I'll see ya in my future videos. Got, pig. got two pigs. How's the difference? Remember that. Three. Yeah, I'm trying to get the... Oh no! Oh, she's eating all of that. Good diva, fire diva. Let's go, GG. Woo!